find the Excel table from its ID. In order to understand this topic, you need to imagine a situation. Suppose you are working on some migration project where the automation is already created in one tenant. But you right now you don't have any access to that tenant. They just provide you the input files and the template, the flow template with the tool. Now it's your time to recreate the same automation in the another tenant. So when you're moving to another tenant at that time, everything would change. The SharePoint location where your file is placed. So you can very well upload the Excel file into the new SharePoint. But the problem is the once you change the SharePoint site address, it will start giving you the table id and just by seeing the table id how you can con how you can decide which particular table it belongs to let me example your excel is having around 5 to 10 tables how do you be clear for which particular table you need to connect your automation if you you are if you are totally unaware about the automation so let me just take you to my screen and help you to understand this and we'll look for the solution also. So here we'll come to this one and understand. Let me example, right now my file is present in one of my SharePoint location into my document library that is book one this book one is having three sheets all three sheets have tables in sheet one it has a table whose name is table 14 and in sheet two you have a table whose name is table one now suppose today your automation stopped working or you need to recreate the same automation into the another tenant or using the same SharePoint site, but you don't know what is the table name that corresponds to the ID of it. Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power. So, let's understand the case. Here is my Power Automat flow which I am creating. So, let example, you have a full complete flow and they have shared you the zip file of that flow. So you can easily import to your solution or your new tenant but it's about the pointing or configuring the locations the new locations to the each and every input parameters of your actions so for our list rows presented table if today i need to remove the sharepoint site so let's say i remove this one and i write something like that Okay. And as I hit on this, I can see my document library name become changed. And if I expand this, I should not be able to see anything. Okay, still it is pointing towards. Let me pick another side and the side of mine. Let's use you test it for now. And I'll use another document library for now. Now I'll go here and see my ID has created. How will I understand that this particular ID belongs to which particular table of my Excel? That's the scenario. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll simply first download this file because in order to recreate the same automation, they will provide you the, the input file also. Just download you will get the file and then in the new SharePoint location just try to import that file if I come here and then try to upload my file which I just downloaded book one Excel open or maybe let's try one more folder here I'm not putting it directly inside my document folder inside my subfolder which is present in my document folder. 
okay so test folder and I'll push this file inside my test folder okay now if I come back now understand right now I'm in the middle of my migration and I need to change my pointings of this Excel connector so what I'll do I simply change my location so my new location is my new site and my new site is the timesheet also yeah, this timesheet is my child or my, my, my sub site of my initial site so that's not a problem so let's come back and then make it to select your site let me write it down timesheet so I can see it is giving me the suggestion that I have a sheet on site with my stamp sheet. I select this site and then in the document library, I can still see this code is still there. Although in this time sheet site, I also have the document library, but this ID which is generated for the document library is unique for each site. Okay. It doesn't mean like the document name is same, so your ID will be same. The ID will be different, so you just need to cross this and then click on this document. And then inside this document, here you need to pick your file. If I go into my, I can see this test folder because it's in my document library of my timesheet site. I go inside it and then I'll select my book one. Once I select my book one, I can come down and see this particular table ID. It's become changed now. Its ID is now converted into the table name. Okay, so how it is happening? It is because the ID which is coming here is depend on the Excel. And the Excel which we have downloaded is the same as we are using and in the source system. So that's the reason when I imported the same file into my new destination, I need not to do anything. The ID remains connected to the previous table itself. So that's why it is automatically connected to my table two. Now my migration is been done like I have changed I have easily changed my site without knowing the table which is used inside my automation I just know that book one was my input file because that book one is shared with me okay and a new site is shared with me so I don't know which particular table is should be used for this particular action so that's how we can get it so while doing the migration don't remove the table ID okay let me give you an example if you change to any other and then if you come here this particular ID this is something that you should not remove first you should upload the file at the right place and then configure all the location document library and the and the file path this ID automatically convert into the proper table okay or the other approach is first take the copy of this otherwise if you directly if you think that it's something wrong you should simply cross this and you never got to know which particular table it was connected okay so while doing the migration please keep this in mind that you should not delete the ID before connecting it with the right location and right shape and path okay this table id automatically converted into the table name so that is all in this video everyone i hope this type of scenario you might have faced earlier or you will face in future so prepare yourself to cover those scenarios as well so thanks for watching this video have a nice day